That 6.4 earthquake in Searles Valley, California, was felt, uh, as mentioned, all the way here in Las Vegas. But luckily, the effects uh, here were pretty minimal. 8 News Now reporter is Orko Mana, live on the strip with some reaction from tourists tonight. Orko? Well, Denise and Brian, even though we're about 130 miles away from where that earthquake was centered, a lot of us here in Las Vegas definitely still felt it. My photographer and I were actually inside the news car earlier when it happened, and it was kind of swaying back and forth a little bit, and we were definitely not alone. This is video from inside our 8 News Now newsroom, and you can see that uh, the ceiling lights were shaking and the TVs were shaking as well. A lot of our viewers also sent in some videos, chandeliers and light fixtures in homes across the valley. We're moving because of that earthquake. Luckily, that's as much impact as we felt here, basically. Police and fire officials tell us there have been no reports of any injuries or any significant damage. Still, it was quite an experience for tourists staying on the Las Vegas Strip. I just felt like just like shaking left to the right, and it, it felt kind of weird. Like, um, it was kind of like you on like a ride or something. You remember, like, uh, like a carnival ride. It, was, it felt weird. I was actually sitting at the blackjack table at the win, and it just felt like I was on a boat and we were just doing this. I actually thought the guy that I was sitting with was uh, kicking the table. And then he looked at me and he goes, did you feel that earthquake? The Nevada Department of Transportation says we have some of the best bridges in the country and released a statement saying in part, quote, NDOT is not doing a widespread inspection of the state's bridges as a result of the earthquake because most bridges are designed and engineered to withstand small quakes and high winds. Again, we were told that there are no injuries reported and no significant damage here in Las Vegas. Just a little bit of a surprise on this 4th of July holiday. For now, reporting live on the Strip, Orco Mana, 8 News Now. Thank you, Orko.